and welcome to a new series of mine called how to use chips and gates in this tutorial or series of tutorials we're going to be running through how to use a large array of chips and gates here we're going to be running through the basic ones like arithmetic uh, array we don't really need but you can use them comparison they're good entity they're for the player uh, most of the stuff for the player or an entity you can link it to props but that's more advanced I don't really need that stuff at the moment logic gates they are really handy for uh, making most of your contraptions even an E2 use a lot of logic gates um, memory gates these I found are extremely hard to use RAM and stuff like RAM cards all extremely hard to use and I didn't I've spent so long trying to get those to work um, we don't want any player gates ranger gates not really either string gates they're handy but you don't really need them when you're starting off wire mod and now I'm assuming you guys don't have much experience with wire mod that's why you're watching this tutorial so we'll go through with the um, time gates also time gates are really good for making like you know time bombs anything you like most of this the most of these gates use a constant value um, constant values are handy for literally outputting a constant value <sighs> so we'll get into it first the first gate we're going to be working with is the arithmetic we're going to be working with the absolute gate oh, I've got a guy over here with me we're going to be looking at the absolute gate now absolute or ABS gate what it does is it outputs it times as anything by I think what is it negative one or one I forgot but let's say we put down a constant value of negative 2000. We'll hook up the screen and the absolute gate and the absolute gate to the constant value. It'll output a positive 2000. So if you have a variable, let's say a vector or something, and you don't want it to go into negatives, you will have that, that chip in place, or even in your E2, it's just ABS. You'll have that chip in place, and it'll make any negative that you have into a positive number. So thank you guys for watching. This is... This is the first of multiple series. We're going to be running through all those gates, like I said before. Then we'll be going on to some other stuff, like maybe RAM cards, reader writers, maybe even some E2 tutorials. But we'll get on to that later. <laughs> right now, we don't really need it. Right now, we work with gates. Get you guys going. When I was starting off with WireMod, all I learned was gates. It's the best way to learn. Then you can go into E2 and take some of those things you learnt with gates with you to E2. These tutorials are going to be very short. This one, I know this one here is about, you know, two minutes, three minutes now. My other tutorial is maybe about 30 seconds. Just running over simply what the gate is, what it does, and how to use it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you later.